Hey, Kay! Look! There's a new kid moving in! I just hope this new kid has never heard of me. It's not often you get the opportunity to start over with a clean slate. This time, things will be different. Ah! Oh! Ah! He did it! Uh. This November... I'm going to change who I am and become a winner. Wow. Find the courage. If there's one person you want by your side at a moment like this, it's your loyal dog. If you really want to impress people, you need to show them you're a winner. All I do is win, 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 no matter what, what got money on my mind. Of course, when I say you, you know I don't mean you personally. 20th Century Fox presents... Step one, forget everything you ever knew about yourself. Charlie Brown is not a quitter. <laughs> Are you serious? Schroeder. Sally. Yeehaw! Linus. Hey, Charlie Brown. Peppermint Patty. Sir! Two! No, three! Pig Pen. Lucy. You blockhead! Snoopy. <laughs> and Charlie Brown. The new kid is coming. She's pretty. She's not that pretty. <gasps> she looked at me. <gasps> From the imagination of Charles Schultz. Comes the incredible story. Ooh. Now there's a guy who's going places. Oh. Of an underdog and his dog. Snoopy, what would I do without a friend like you? I can't believe I'm about to talk to the new girl. <sighs> Hello? complete 180 for the marketing campaign for this film. As you might recall, I was underwhelmed by the teaser trailers for the Peanuts movie, but this full trailer? Wow, color me impressed. And speaking of coloring, uh, we're gonna start out today's trailer review with an activity sheet uh, that was emailed to me yesterday uh, by the folks who are handling the marketing campaign for this movie. This is the first time this has ever happened. I thought it was really a fun idea, so I wanted to share it with you. Uh, so what they do is when they have a trailer uh, be released, they often email uh, their press list uh, to say, hey, this trailer is up, uh, be sure to cover it. Uh, but this time they said, oh, the new Peanuts trailer is up on Apple. It was an exclusive for 24 hours. That's why I'm only reviewing it today. Uh, but they said, here's an activity sheet for you to get even more fun out of the trailer. And so as you can see, it says the top 10 trailer moments from the Peanuts movie. Uh, and it's very diplomatic because it's from the people who made the film. So they just list the trailer moments uh, as they happen in the trailer. So they're not willing to uh, say which they think are the coolest moments, but they're asking you to do it. You can see there's a little box there for you to like, I guess, uh, put a number in there or check off which ones you liked. Uh, but then what's really awesome on the bottom, you can see there it says, Draw your favorite moment here if you know if it isn't doesn't happen to be one of the ones that they highlighted. So I thought that was a really cute idea uh, and something to get not only younger viewers but viewers of all ages uh, even more excited for the film. Although I'm not quite sure what I would draw in that box because my favorite moment in the trailer was when the announcer had to say Peppermint Patty uh, within the allotted time of the edit, right? So he had to say it really fast and he lost a little bit of his announcer cool. I just got I just got a real hoot out of that. So that was my favorite moment in the trailer. I have to say honorable mention, though, goes to the line of the story of an underdog 
and his dog. I thought that was adorable. So while you don't have the activity sheet, I'm sorry I can't give it to you through the computer. Uh, I guess, you know, I, I could mass email all of you, but I don't think that's uh, reasonable. But let's just kind of play along anyway in the comment section with writing down our favorite trailer moments. So you can put down your favorite one, and if you have a couple, you can rank them. Uh, now, what else I really like about this trailer is the message. Uh, and it didn't occur to me, uh, although it seems obvious now, that a great way uh, to make uh, Charlie Brown, um, you know, timely is to deal with bullying, right? I mean, no one gets bullied more than Charlie Brown. No one has more or less of a feeling of self-worth self than Charlie Brown. So to have him, you know, tackle that subject head on and to try and, you know, change his image and be like positive and not change who he is, but just to, to let the world see the person that he believes himself to be, right? Uh, I think that that is a great message. I think that's really strong. And again, as I said, it makes the, makes the uh, film itself very timely for audiences. So I love that. I also love the style. That's one of the things I liked about even the teaser trailers. But I think here you see an added benefit to the kind of mix they have going on, right? It looks modern in terms of the computer animation, but it's very faithful to the Charles Schultz illustrations. And it also seems still like a drawing, just a very colorful, clear drawing. So I think by doing that, uh, it not only, again, is faithful to what Charles Schultz created, but also I think it makes some of the more modern aspects of the story more palatable uh, to the audience, right? Because you can see your, the visual cue is that it's a mix of old and new. And also because it has that older feel to it, uh, the more modern elements still seem, you know, weighed down or, or tied to uh, the origin or the original characters. So very well put together. Blue Sky, of course, you know, they have the Rio films, uh, which have done pretty well. I, th I thought Rio 2 wasn't as good as the first Rio. And then the Ice Age films, of course, have been huge for them. Epic was actually a pretty strong film, uh, just had not a great marketing campaign. They should have made an activity sheet. Uh, but anyway, that didn't do particularly well in theaters. But this looks like an incredibly strong contender from the animation studio, something that it desperately needs, as all the other animation studios have kind of pulled ahead of it, right? Like in early days, they were a strong competitor when it was just Pixar, DreamWorks, and Blue Sky. But now you have Illumination Entertainment, you have Sony Animation, you have now Paramount Animation, Warner Brothers Animation. So this is just what Blue Sky needs. However, I think that it's going to be a giant asteroid uh, to the Good Dinosaur movie, which comes out just a few weeks later, right? I mean, like, compare the two trailers, right? Which one's more exciting? Uh, I think this one. And I have to say, here's a, a, a little bit of an admission. I am not a huge Charlie Brown fan. Like, I don't particularly enjoy the specials when they air them during the holidays. I'm always like, eh, I can see the appeal, but I don't personally get it. But I still am very excited for this movie. I think it looks fantastic. So share your own thoughts down below. And again, those favorite trailer moments. And what do you think of the trailer? And also, what do you think of the activity sheet? Uh, what do you think of how uh, Hollywood and the studios uh, are uh, realizing our love of trailers and are trying to get in on that action? All right, thank you so much for tuning in, and you can check out some other episodes right now.